السلام علیکم क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द ग्राफ शोज हाउ द स्पीड ऑफ कार वेरीज द स्पीड ऑफ द कार वेरीज विद विद टाइम सो यू कैन सी यू कैन सी इन अ ग्राफ लाइक ऑन ऑन वाई एक्सिस इट इज स्पीड और वेलोसिटी मैटर ऑन एक्स एक्सिस इट इज टाइम initially you can see uh, the velocity of the car is increasing like this and the time is going in onward direction like initially the velocity of the car is increasing 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 like this till the after this time which is approximately like 5 to 6 seconds uh, the velocity of the car is no longer increasing and it looks uh constant for a particular amount of time so when there is no change in velocity like during this period the velocity of the car is constant so when there is no change in velocity it means there is no acceleration so let's see what is the question which statement about the acceleration of the car between 10 second and 20 second is correct so 10 second is here if you match with the with graph here see so 10 second is somewhere here and 20 second is here so during the, this interval of time you can see the velocity is constant constant velocity means the acceleration is zero so look at the the option look at look at the available option the acceleration is decreasing that's not correct the acceleration is increasing incorrect the acceleration is constant but non zero cross the acceleration is zero so that's the that's our required answer because the velocity is constant as long as the velocity is constant there is no change in velocity no change in velocity means no acceleration so this is the correct option a student number 2 a student walks at a constant speed S constant speed means again uh, velocity constant speed or constant velocity means acceleration is zero he takes 100 second to walk 160 paces the length of each pace is is 0.80 meters so we can find out distance with the help of the given information so distance is what distance is actually equal to 160 paces times the length of each pace which is 0.8 so you uh, if you would use calculator it would be i think so 128 128 meters so 128 why it is 128 so there are 160 paces and each pace is 80 meter long so 80 times 80 times 160 is the total amount of distance and it like uh, how much time is taken the time taken is you can see it's 60 100 seconds so time taken is 100 seconds how far does the student walk in 50 seconds like it means half of the like in hundreds uh, Uh, let's make make uh, some sort of uh, ratio in which uh, one twenty eight 
is traveled in hundred seconds so it means if time is divided by 2 it would become 50 similarly if I would divide the distance by 2 it would be 64 so it means in 50 seconds in 50 seconds uh, 64 meter distance is traveled so sixty four is the distance oh sorry is the time no it's the distance and time is fifty second so our target was to find out the distance traveled in fifty seconds so in fifty second it is one sixty four so our correct option is sixty four so this is the correct option Now question number 3 a student drops a student drops a uh, a student drops from rest a table tennis ball in air what happens to the velocity and to the acceleration of the ball during the first few seconds suppose we have a table like this suppose it's a table and it has some height oh sorry so, suppose it's it's some height but and ball is dropped from this particular height like this suppose it's a ball which is dropped from a particular height okay so you know that when the ball is dropped from air there is change in its velocity and actually it is under the influence of adds gravitational field so there is a gravitational field strength as well so with every second suppose during the first second like suppose this is the first second suppose it would be second like the ball would be here after second second somewhere here after two seconds so with every second there would be an increase in velocity suppose initially it's zero the velocity is zero after one second you know that it would be 9.8 or 10 let me write it 10 Af after two seconds its velocity would be what <coughs> <coughs> and after one more second it would be 30 somewhere here so with every second every second there is an increase in velocity of the car of the of the ball so you know that increase in velocity is called acceleration so how much is the uh, how much is the increase in velocity so increase in velocity is 10 here is also 10 here is also 10 so increase in velocity is 10 it means acceleration is also 10 so let's move to the given options the option says velocity decreases decreases so these are incorrect options actually velocity is going to increase so these are wrong options so what about acceleration acceleration decreases nope 
acceleration increases no so what about like acceleration is going to increase so you can see there is little uh, confusion in question if you can see it says during first few seconds so initially the acceleration is actually increased from 0 to 10 so that's why there is an increase in acceleration in first few seconds after that it would remain constant <coughs> in first second like initially the when when the ball was in rest the velocity was 0 acceleration was 0 when velocity during the first second is increased from 0 to 10 the acceleration is also increased from 0 to 10 so in first case the acceleration increases so we have two correct option for increase in acceleration and you can see the velocity is continuously increasing so we have these two correct options so overall we have uh, uh, d as correct option because it contains two similar type of things there is an increase in velocity and increase in acceleration during first few seconds so question number five says that a cyclist is traveling from uh, uh, a cyclist takes a ride lasting 25 seconds the diagram shows how her distance traveled from starting position varies with time so you can see like the distance is on x, uh, on y axis and time is on x axis so distance is already mentioned total distance is 150 so object when object will reach here so total distance traveled by the object is 150 and total time taken is 25 seconds so average velocity is total distance over total time so total distance traveled is 150 and total time taken is 25 so it would be 6 meter per second so correct option is a In question number 5, a car begins to move its, uh, its speeds up until it reaches a constant velocity. It continues to travel at that constant speed for the rest of the journey. <coughs> what happens to the acceleration and what happens to the velocity of the car during the journey? Okay, so, so it's very simple type of question. So you can see initially. Uh, it speeds up it means its velocity or speed was increasing it means there is some acceleration increase in velocity means positive acceleration so both velocity and, in and acceleration were initially changing it continues to travel at the, uh, then the velocity becomes constant it means the there is no change in velocity after a particular uh, time so no change in velocity means no ac uh, acceleration both the acceleration and the velocity change only the acceleration change okay constant speed for the rest of the journey what happened to the acceleration what happened to the velocity at the car during the journey okay so during the journey you can see 
initially the velocity was changing acceleration was also produced but once the velocity became constant there was no change in velocity and acceleration became zero so there is no change in acceleration as well so we are we, we are here with the option c because only neither the velocity is changing nor acceleration is produced so that's why both are constant after like after a particular amount of time question number 6 an object travels at a constant speed for the first 10 seconds with with the speed of 10 meter per second during the next 5 seconds it accelerates to 20 meter per second okay what is the total distance traveled by the object you can see the distance is actually area under the graph here is a rectangle and rest of it is a trapezium and this one is your trapezium after 10 second it could be kind of a trapezium so here is trapezium so total distance is area under the graph so area of rectangle is uh length into breadth length is 10 and breadth is also 10 plus okay one sec i am using the similar colors actually rectangle is in red color so i am going to use this one 10 times 10 okay see here is like uh, this portion of the rectangle oh rectangle is actually little larger than this rectangle starts from here so this one is 10 and this breadth is also height is also 10 so 10 times 10 plus now the trapezium you know the trapezium is 1 by 2 sum of parallel side so this side and this side both are parallel to each other so one is 10 and other is 20 multiplied with height and height is this one because the line which connects parallel side is the height so 15 minus 10 is 5 so it would be 100 plus 1 by 2 times 30 times 5 could be 175 so our correct option looks this one and rest of uh, like uh, rest of the options looks incorrect so question number 7 question number 7 says a lorry it takes 15 minute to travel along the path p q r and s so from p to q it travels 5 km from q to r it travels 3 km and r to s it travels 5 km 
so total distance travel is 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 5 is 16 so total distance travel is 16 kilometers and total time taken is you can see time is mentioned here so total time is 15 minute 15 minute means 15 divided by 60 is uh, 0 0.4 hours so it is in kilometers time taken is in hours and distance is in kilometers so average speed is average speed is total distance divided by total time same formula so average velocity v a v a v for average velocity and it would be equal to 16 divided by 0 0.4 and it would be equal to 16 there is an error see I made a mistake here it would be 0 0.25 so 16 divided by 0 0.25 would be 40 kilometer per hour Oh, 16 divided by 0 0.4 is 64 so you can use calculator so with the help of calculator you can check the, the exact answer for me it looks that the correct answer is this one and these are incorrect options but you can verify it from uh, with the help of calculator method is same to uh, like uh, average velocity is total distance total distance you can see is 16 kilometers and time is 15 minute 15 minute means 0 0.25 hours so you will have this answer question number eight question number eight says uh, at time t1 a stone is dropped from a stationary balloon ok the stone reaches terminal velocity at time t2 which rows gives the acceleration of at time t1 and t2 so it's very simple t1 is when balloon is stationary when balloon is stationary means the stone would also be in rest state when stone is in rest state it means its acceleration is 0 so at t1 acceleration is 0 so these two options for t1 <coughs> and what about t2 so you can see t2 is uh, like the state when the, the t2 is a state when stone is moving in downward direction and you know that when it is in downward direction its velocity would be increasing and its acceleration would be gravitational acceleration so these two options are correct for uh, uh, acceleration at state t2 so you can see option c looks fine because it contains both correct options Question number 9 says the graph shows how the speed of a car traveling in a straight line changes with time. 
which section shows the largest acceleration acceleration is change in velocity with time so you can see like from here till here there is no change in velocity so acceleration is zero so during the interval a there is a rapid increase in velocity like so there is a huge amount of change in uh, like there, there, the acceleration is produced during this pr path the velocity is constant so no acceleration there is slightly increase in velocity so acceleration is produced during this path the velocity is constant so acceleration is zero during this interval here the velocity is maximum at this point the maximum velocity and here is the point with minimum velocity so maximum velocity and here is a minimum velocity so there is a huge in change in velocity so when there is a large amount of change in velocity means large amount of acceleration is produced so i think so the option this one because there is there is no acceleration here is an acceleration but the largest one looks this one an object falls question number 10 an object falls from a rest through the air and the air resistance on it increases air resistance increases the object reaches terminal velocity terminal velocity means acceler terminal velocity means it's a constant velocity constant velocity means uh, when when it is a uh, it's a constant velocity means acceleration is zero acceleration is zero means the only thing which decrease which is going to decrease is acceleration which is which decreases from 10 to 0 so in question it says which quantity is decreases until its terminal velocity is reached it's actually change in velocity change in velocity is called acceleration so i think the correct one is this one and the rest of the things kinetic energy like velocity when, when there is a velocity there is kinetic energy so kinetic energy is not going to decrease like the object is in whether it is in uh, whether it is moving with terminal velocity or constant velocity it has some speed so it is not decreasing weight weight is a force which remains as the object is here so the acceleration is actually decreasing from 10 to 